Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our software testing bootcamp where we are talking about the fundamental concepts of software testing. And we are in chapter eight talking about the quality characteristics testing. And that's where we are continuing ahead with our next segment, which is 8.4 security testing. And today we'll be understanding what the security testing is all about and how does that help an organization, a test team achieve a great security. To talk about the security testing, I must first introduce that what kind of security threats we are talking about and by testing them, we are trying to eliminate before it reaches to the end user or when it goes to the market. Now, security testing basically assesses the various types of system vulnerabilities to, thread in, to, to threats by attempting to compromise the system's security policy. And this, in simple terms, generally means there are a lot of vulnerabilities which may be impacting the system data, which is highly secured in terms of you. But of course, there might be various ways by which it can be penetrated through and an external person can hack into your information and retrieve all your personal details or data, which you might be thinking is pretty much secured. So today we'll be understanding about the same that how security testing looks forward to these threats and what can be done best as an approach from testing point of view to perform this on a very high level. So it is generally, if we talk about a basic definition to security testing, it is mainly to secure your data when you're working on any system or any platform. It is mainly to assure a user when user is interacting with the system that their data Whatever the data could be, it is about your credentials, it could be about your personal details, which you might be securing there, and uh, including any other platforms when you're talking about your one-time passwords, you're talking about the bank details on a network. So you just make sure that these data are safe when you're using a browser, when you're using a particular platform, operating system, etc. So there are many ways by which uh, this can happen. So we are trying to understand with a small list here that the following is a list of potential threats which should be explored during security testing. So generally a security testing team is well specialized and well trained on how to measure these parameters in terms of threat to reduce the security problems, security breaches on an, an, an application or an, any particular platform. So these are some of the examples of potential threat which can be exposing your secure data to the people. And that's what you call it as the security breach or leak of the data. Now, unauthorized copying of the application or data, which is a very simple and straightforward thing to be understood that when you try publishing certain content with a copyright symbol on top of it, it means that the other people do not have any rights of claiming that that content belongs to them. They can always use it under the fair for use policy because uh, the company might have allowed other people to make use of it as a reference for study purpose or for presenting purpose, but you have to make sure that if it is having a fair use policy associated with that. But unauthorized copying of any application or data is also a security breach or is a threat. Talking about the unauthorized access control, that means you do not have the right parameters to log in into an account, but you are trying in different other ways by which you can break through the login credentials. Also user rights, access and privileges are the focus of this testing, which checks whether what kind of authorization you give uh, through uh, different portals, including your browsers, including saving a password. Did you know that saving a password is not so safe for you? Because if in case any user can penetrate into your browser, they can very well retrieve all your passwords. So it's not so safe to even save your passwords over the browser, rather prefer making a note of it in a diary, in a notebook outside the computer, which is pretty much more secure. Anyways, if you deep dive, even that is not secure. User rights, accesses and privileges are the focus of this testing. This information should be available in the specification of the system at how this is going to happen. The software which exhibits unintended side effects when performing in intended functions. The intended functions are basically the 
main thing what a system should do but if in case it is doing anything like different than usual and that's where we can understand that as a threat that means this application was not supposed to do something on its own so generally the activity log or kind of like a notification which says that hey somebody tried uh you know accessing your account in this location from this ip address which is trying to prevent your security breach right and you get notified and you have to take necessary actions immediately to change your password also code inserted into the web page which may be exercised by subsequent users which could be the cross-site scripting or xss this could be malicious also so it's more about like uh kind of like installation on a pop-up which appears just from nowhere and you agree to install that or agree to download a particular file which may trigger any kind of uh a malicious code to be installed on your system or on your browser which may help them to hack your data also breaking the encryption codes used to protect sensitive data encryption code generally we know that our passwords are not displayed as we type them it is always masked with some asterisk and there's an encrypted value behind the screen which the system captures to make sure that right there when you enter the value it is encrypted in a way that it does not uh, let anyone find out what exactly was the password even if anything wrong happens but people are trying to break through the encrypting code itself to see and retrieve back what password was entered so there are such things which are happening around so just make sure that try to not save the browsers uh, save the passwords on the browser because if in case somebody can decrypt it then you are still not safe on the other hand talking about what a security testing team should do or what a security team generally takes care of in order to measure the security threats and prevent it to happen how does the security testing generally takes place so in general the following aspects are of particular relevance when planning for the security test now in an organization we will have a separate team who's going to be responsible for performing all necessary security tests it's not the same tester who was doing unit testing or integration testing we completely have an independent test team dealing with security uh, measures and uh, validations and uh, this team will be specialist in their domain and they pretty much know a lot about what to do and they have their own set of tools to utilize them for security testing now talking about the various aspects which uh, a test plan should take care of for security testing which includes security issues can be introduced during the architecture which is the first and foremost step where security parameters are introduced right at the architecture level or even at the design or implementation of the system so security testing may be scheduled right from the unit or integration or till system testing level so it's not necessary that your security test only kicks off when your system is stable and ready that means after system testing you can kick off with initial reviews and interaction with the design and code right from the unit testing level and uh, you can review several factors because if you are doing it pretty late then it's a very hard rework to uh, redesign or re-implement the code according to the security so security team is required to participate much earlier in the life cycle and start contributing from there also talking about the test approaches which can uh, use can be used here to do the uh, security reviews is of course the uh, reviews of architecture design and code and the static analysis of the code with the security tools to see that if these are complying with all that expectation what the security needs have now these can be effective in finding security issues just because it is a, a static way of preventing and finding defects much earlier in the life cycle that it can be benefited uh, by finding defects much earlier than dynamic testing and sometimes these defects which are related to static testing has uh, not been generally found by the dynamic testing so it's not so easy to find these typical information related issues or deviations at dynamic level so we generally recommend that you start performing static testing right from the beginning also the security test team may be called upon to design and perform certain security attacks which is like 
in purpose. You try to hack into the tool, try to break through the code and see that if you can really gain access to the system, uh, which requires careful planning and coordination with the stakeholder so that uh, we can check if in case anybody attempts in different ways, the system is still secured. An essential aspect of security test planning is obtaining approval. That means letting our test manager know that we will be trying to conduct uh, security tests, which means we might be even conducting any kind of attacks on the system and trying to break through and see that if it happens. So keeping your management, keeping your stakeholders informed and uh, including the information uh, organization information security officer or the team because if in case that was not informed, it could be a legal issue as well. So we have to drop an email with a notification to all the stakeholders who have any kind of interest in your security breach or security parameters that, hey, we are security testing team and we'll be scheduling a security test on so-and-so date and time. Be aware that it's we who are trying it under the controlled environment. Also, it should be noted that the environment which may be made to the security of the system may affect its performance, efficiency, or reliability. So any change to fulfill one of the quality attributes can affect the other quality attribute. Of course, usability, reliability, performance are all related to architecture, including security as well. So in case once you try fixing the security related issue and try modifying the architecture to support it, it may happen that performance was already good, but now due to the security modifications, your performance may be impacted. Now we may have to read on few tests or a few scenarios of performance testing, which would help us to uh, confirm that after these changes, the performance has not been affected and we are still good with the other quality attributes of the system. So it's very necessary to understand that there are different set of attributes which security test team takes care of in terms of uh, performing them and uh, should take care of any kind of conflicting activities, conflicting parameters of the product at the same time and keep them informed that we are trying to modify the uh, script, uh, the design and the code just to meet the security expectations, but it may have a side effect on other quality attributes. So please look forward to that. So put together in a nutshell, this is what the security testing is all about. I am sure many of you would be highly uh, excited about this. So please look forward to explore more about, probably you can even build your career in soft uh, security testing of products. So anyways, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.